Hi, this is Kevin O'Leary. Good to see you all again today. Today I'm going to talk about something very simple. And uh, this is uh, related to uh, just the last 25 years. A lot of things happened uh, throughout you know, my teaching experience. And it's very difficult uh, to get Japanese speakers uh, to, to speak very coherent English and to use properly uh, globally acceptable uh, types of speaking styles when learning English. And um, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the first three skills that I work on. So if we just go to my whiteboard right here. The first three skills that I work on are number one, physical performance expression, and active listening. Now, uh, these all have specific uh, meanings to me. And I take these three areas of concentration when training people how to speak English. And I work on this almost to perfection before I introduce further vocabulary, a new expression, idioms, or whatnot. Because what I find is there's a lot of people who know a lot of vocabulary and know a lot of expressions, but they just speak like crap. I mean, it's it just it's not like the English that I know. First of all, physical performance uh, would include your eye contact, Body language, of course. And we know gestures. These are very, very important uh, skills that people must have in order to communicate properly. Expression. You know, how uh, this is where I put the projection. Uh, how well do you project your voice? And when you project your voice, is it loud enough? Is it appropriate for the size of the room and the audience? So I would put my voice volume and my uh, clarity also. Clarity, uh, in order to make it easier for the listeners, uh, as you speak, when you come to the end of a sentence, you might want to take a two-second pause. It makes it much easier for you to be uh, understood. For example, if I were just to introduce myself and say, Hello everyone, I am Kevin O'Leary. I was born in the United States. That would be very easy for a non-native person to understand. So, uh, let's, uh, for, for the expression, let's go ahead and put um, uh, your voice projection and, of course, your clarity. Now, please understand that when I'm talking about clarity, I'm not really talking about uh, pronunciation. Pronunciation takes a very, very long time uh, to understand. For example, uh, with our alphabet in English, A-E-I-O-U, the Japanese only use five different sounds for that. But A-E-I-O-U has up to 29 sounds in English. So uh, it's going to take a while uh, to work on pronunciation. Clarity is basically making it easier for the listener to understand, and you can do that by pauses. So just worry about the pauses for now. Active listening. This is very important. Even though you're listening to someone make a speech, it's very important you work on your active listening. Look at the speaker. Look at the speaker's face. Look at the speaker's expression. Uh, not only will that make it easier for you to understand, but it will also make 
it much easier for you to use when you go off into a two-person conversation. Because as you're speaking, you're going to be talking uh, with the other person. So active listening is looking at the speaker. In a very simplified form, I'm just going to end right here by telling you that the first three areas of concentration that I'm going to do with my students are physical performance, expression, and active listening. And I don't move on if any of these skills are compromised because you're going to get them speaking some sort of English but it's not going to be quality English if you're not staying on task with these three items. Once again, I am Kevin O'Leary and I hope to be talking with you later on.